politics tell you that somebody can do something for you. You know, what we know is God, I do everything. So the best man to deal with is God. Hi, I'm Duke Keatman. Welcome to season two of the Pepito Sangria 2020 edition of the Taste of the Caribbean Festival. We hope you enjoyed season one and thank you for tuning in. Now for season two, we got something really special. Bob Marley would have been 75 years young this year. We're gonna explore his life, legacy, through concert footage, behind the scene interviews, and as well as talking to people on the street about what Bob Marley meant to them in their everyday lives. So as Master Bob would say, we're gonna stir it up. Stay tuned. Music was a, a, a mechanism to change the world. Get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. Get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights Get up, stand up And don't give up the fight No, whoa Preacher man, don't tell me Heaven is under the earth I know you don't know What life is really worth It's not all that glitter is gold and if the story has never been told And now you see the light I tell you stand up for your rights hey. Get up, stand up Stand up for your rights Get up, stand up Don't give up the fight No, oh. get up, stand up Stand up for your rights I tell you get up, stand up And don't give up Ah, oh, it's a blesser, big up the legendary Bob And I chose this song because of uh, the simple words that he say, you know I shouldn't even say simple words, great words Get up, stand up, fight for your rights Take away everything And make everybody feel like But if you know what life is worth you would have did look for years on earth And now you see the light I beg you stand up for your right hey. Get up, stand up Bob Marley is always an influence across the whole, the whole reggae music Even if, up, even if it's up. not a personal influence Bob Marley is always an influence no, whoa. Get up, stand up Stand up for your rights I tell you get up, stand up And don't give up the fight yo, yo. Bob Marley impacted the uh, Canadian culture You just have to go to the parties, go to all the reggae shows You see people representing from every walk of life, every creed, every colour Almighty God is a living man You can fool some people sometimes but you can't fool all the people all the time Any love is love And you just have to go out and work You know because you help those who help themselves And once you go and help yourself You know the work continues And if Bob was here He would see from there Or from then Till now His love has grown And don't give up the fight No, no Get up, stand up Stand up for your rights I tell you get up, stand up And don't give up the fight No more That's the fight Definitely Bob Marley had an impact on Canadian culture in a whole. Bob Marley is the international face to reggae music and, and it's a familiar one, it's a, a friendly one and just like Canadians, we're very friendly so Bob definitely had a profound effect 
on the Canadian scene where reggae is concerned? No, I would say, you know, the influence of Bob Marley with reggae music, of course, is, is on Canadian culture. It's more of an indirect influence. And indirect in the, in the, in the means that, of course, the Caribbean, um, which is the, the roots and, and the growth place of, of, the, of, of Bob Marley's music, reggae music and Bob Marley's interpretation of reggae, is uh, the home of a lot of immigration to Canada. So you have young persons especially who have um, come to Canada but who grew up with Bob Marley as their idol, with, with his words and his songs as their motivation, as, as, as their reason for change, their reason to, for, for wanting more. So you have these young persons and citizens from the Caribbean transplanted to Canada with this background. And therefore, as they integrate into the Kenyan society, and as they um, start to influence, like all immigrants do, changes in that society, you find the, the, their influence by Bob Marley directly influences the culture that they're now a part of, and, the, and that they're now contributing to. So, indirectly, through immigration, I think uh, Bob Marley's music and his, his um, philosophy on, on, on culture and on society has made its influence indirectly on Canadian culture. Um, Bob Marley definitely had an impact on Canadian culture on a whole still because um, whether you speak French or English or Spanish, you know, it doesn't matter what language you speak in Canada. Um, everybody knows Bob Marley music word by word. You know, I've witnessed that. You know, I've been places where people don't speak English and you're playing Bob Marley's music and they can't speak a word of English, but they know Bob Marley's music word for word. And just the, the, the culture has been indoctrinated into, into, into Canadian society too. And everybody knows what a Rasta man is and what a Rasta man stands for and what Bob Marley really, was really talking about and what he was fighting for. So yeah, man, Bob Marley influenced the whole world. The music and his way of living and his words. Seen? Oui, je crois que Bob Marley a un impact euh, immense sur les Canadiens, mais surtout ceux qui ont pris la peine de l'écouter à travers le monde, euh, indépendamment de leur de leur couleur, de leur religion, de leur euh, de leur et, euh, de leur ethnie, de leur race, comme on dit, leur langue. Alors il a touché énormément de monde à travers les quatre coins du monde tellement que ça a fait une, un genre de révolution au point de vue euh, conscience euh, humaine et conscience euh, des gens qui sont oppressés euh, comme, euh, comme les personnes les plus vulnérables dans les pays, euh, euh, dans les pays du tiers monde. Uh, Bob Marley became, became one of the greatest ambassadors for peace uh, in the world. So I would say he had, a, he had left a huge impact on the Canadian culture. But selon moi, bien sûr qu'elle a eu un impact direct sur la musique reggae canadienne parce qu'elle on perpétue son héritage. On, on aime sa musique. Ses fils aussi euh, nous ont démontré qu'en un jour au Canada, ils étaient très, ils étaient très connus, très populaires. On pense à Kimani qui nous a offert de nombreux concerts. Malheureusement, on n'a pas pu voir Damien Marley à Montréal, mais on a pu voir euh, ses frères Ziggy, Julian, etc. Donc, selon moi, Bob a contribué en grande partie à faire connaître cette musique, cette culture, donc euh, du One Love et du Rastafaris au Canada. I don't really think Bob had such a direct impact on, on the Canadian reggae scene as other artists, artists like Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaacs. I think, I, I think Canada is kind of different, and I think these are the people that actually really impacted the Canadian reggae music scene, as opposed to, say, a Bob Marley being a direct impact. Whatever he sang about impacted people all around the world. It doesn't matter where it was, whatever the struggle is, he spoke against um, oppression and fighting against the system and the holding down of, of the African people internationally all over the world. Bob Marley influence every culture, including Canadian culture. You understand what I mean? A lot of people is influenced by a lot of people who love reggae music. Everywhere I go, me as a reggae singer, people know me reggae singer, and they say, oh, Bob Marley, Bob Marley, Bob Marley. So, in Canada, you know, you have some band just do, every year them do, tribute to Bob Marley, and then get sell love through the year. You know what I mean? So. Members of the great one, great inspiration, great Mr. Bob Marley, Lester Marley. Oh. Oh. Get up, 
stand up, stand up for your right. Get up, stand up, don't give up the fight. Get up, stand up, you stand up for your right. Get up, stand up, don't give up the fight. Preacher man, don't tell me yes, that heaven is under the hurt. I know you don't know what life is really burnt. It's not all that glitter is gold. Half the story I've never been told. Now you see the light. Hey, stand up for your right. Hey, get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Hey, get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Yeah. Get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Hey, many people think great God would come from the skies. Take away everything and make everybody feel high. The reason why I choose this song, you know, is not that I choose this song, but I end up singing this song because I always love this song because it brings forth a message of get up, stand up for your right. So, whichever nation you come from, whichever denomination, when you listen to this song, you know that it brings forth a strength that no matter what you're going through in life or what you try to achieve, this song brings forth a strength. I said, get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Yeah, get up, stand up. Good Lord, don't give up the fight. Yeah. I was inspired by Bob Marley through his inspiration and, and his um, admiration of, of the Almighty, of spirituality and togetherness towards every nation. Fool the people sometimes, but I can't fool the people all the time. Now I know you see the light. No, First and foremost, Bob Marley bring the reggae culture to Canada right. to bring food to open up the mind of the people. Stand up for the right. Yeah, get up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Good Lord, get up. Stand up. I think Bob Marley would choose Canada as, as one of the places where uplift his music and keep his legacy as a number one spot. Stand up for your right. Get up, get up, stand up and fight. The Canadian Commission for UNESCO is a proud supporter of the Taste of the Caribbean Festival. This annual gathering is an important celebration of Caribbean culture in Canada. This year's theme is a tribute to the great musician Bob Marley. It's a nice way to remind us all that Jamaican reggae music popularized by Marley is now inscribed on the list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Uh, it's amazing to think about Bob in terms of, of, of global impact. You know, everybody talks about, you know, Elvis Presley and the Beatles and, uh, you know, how they were global. But, you know, the really the true global pop icon around truly global and around the world. There's only one. It's Bob Marley. Thank you.